Hey guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope every one of you is doing good. So before we start discussing today's topic, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button here. Once you click on it, you will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner. Post you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to press the bell icon and click on all. You will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same without any messes. Also, I would request you all to subscribe to my telegram channel with the name HYIT intraday calls because I share a lot of things over there and it might be helpful to you in some way or the other all right so if I may ask you what do you do if your first trade of the day goes wrong if your first trade of the day gives you a loss would you stop trading for the day or would you take up another trade in fact, just to be more specific, let me reframe this question. If your first trade of the day gives you a loss, would you take up another trade with the same position sizing or would you take another trade with double or triple the position sizing? I mean, we have been learning, right, that trading is all about being in profits. So in this case also, since I have made a loss in my first trade, I'm trying to come out of that loss. I'm trying to come out of my losses by increasing my position sizing. So am I doing the right things? And if I'm doing it wrong, then what is the right way out? So these are the very important questions that needs to be addressed and they sum up to make you a good and profitable trader. If you are in the journey of being a good trader, if you are trying and giving in the best of everything you have for being a good trader, then these are some questions that you should have a solid answer to. And yeah, before I get on any further in this video, let me make sure that you are aware about position sizing. If you are aware, it's well and good. And if you are not aware about position sizing, then please search for the video in my YouTube channel and go through it. It's very important for you to know what position sizing is in order for you to get a grasp of, of this particular video. Okay, so having that said, in today's video, I'm going to put forward my perspective of what a day trader or an intraday trader should be doing if his or her first trade of the day ends up in a loss. Now, the first and the foremost thing to understand here is that when you make a loss, it affects your mental stability and the extent to which it affects you absolutely depends on how much loss you made and what was your capital for that particular day. What I mean is, if your capital is, let's say, 10,000 rupees and if you lose 5% of it, that would be 500 rupees, then it might not affect you much. But if the loss that's being incurred by you, if it's more than 10% or 20% or anything more than that, it will surely affect you negatively. So here comes the main thing. Once you incur your losses, the first and the foremost thing that comes into your mind is whether you should be taking up the next trade or not. And in 99% of the cases, people don't even think whether they should be taking up the next trade or not. They just take up the next trade without any second thoughts. And trust me on this, this decision will decide how your day shapes up. So this particular approach of taking the next trade differs from person to person. And here in this video, I will keep my perspective to it. Okay, so first thing first, let's assume that your risk appetite is 5% of your capital. And please, this is just an example. Your risk appetite might be 1% or 2% or anything that you are comfortable with. 5% is just an assumption. Okay, so when you decide that your risk factor is 5% of your capital, this does not mean that you should be taking up multiple trades with a 5% risk in each trade. Let's say you are taking five trades in a day. Now, it should not be the case that you lose in all the five trades with a 5% risk on your total capital. I mean, this does not make any sense. Right? Because if you go by this calculation, then you are losing a big chunk on your capital. So what's important for you to realize here is when you take a risk of 5% of your entire capital, it should be on a per day basis and not on a per 
trade basis okay so as an intraday trader the best thing that i can suggest to you here is always divide your capital into multiple parts what i mean to say here is if your capital is 10000 rupees then divide it into maybe two parts so your capital becomes 5k for a single trade and if your first trade goes wrong then you will surely have that bandwidth to take up another trade with the same capital of 5k and most importantly having the same risk appetite of 5% okay so the division of your capital serves many purposes the first one is it gives you some space to cover up the loss that you made in the first trade second purpose it serves is it gives you the mental stability because of which you will not start panicking you will not take up another trade with an increased position sizing you will not get into the revenge trading mode okay and the third purpose it serves is if your second trade also goes in a loss then this approach hints you that boss today is not your day and it is better to stop for the day not to trade for today and come back fresh tomorrow okay likely if you want to take one trade further that would be the third trade then you should be dividing your capital into three parts so that your risk appetite remains the same and your capital is intact okay always remember that maintaining your capital is the core of trading you can trade only if you have the capital so you need to do everything possible to protect your capital and these things that we are discussing here addresses the very thing of protecting your capital okay so the baseline is it does not matter if your first trade goes in a loss or not what matters is how well have you divided your capital and how aware are you about your risk appetite so i hope you are getting the point i know that many people suggest to maintain the right position sizing and all those stuffs but i don't think people suggest on dividing the capital and according to me dividing the capital is a very important aspect it is a very important thing that a trader should consider because as a human being when we make a loss we always look out to recover the loss and thinking of recovering the loss is a good thing till the time you don't exceed your risk appetite and dividing the capital gives you a fair chance to recover your losses and also make sure that you are maintaining your risk appetite okay so guys please don't be in a mindset that if you trade with more capital then your profits will be more and if you divide your capital then your profits will slow down this is an absolutely wrong thing and the worst thing i would say a trader can do to himself or herself okay i mean divide your capital and then you can also take up multiple trades rather than putting your entire capital in a single trade it is always better and advisable to divide your capital and put it in multiple trades this gives you more scope of being in profits because if you are putting your entire capital in a single trade and if that trade goes for a toss if that trade goes for a loss then you are losing the entire amount of your risk appetite but inversely if you are dividing your capital and putting it and putting it in let's say in two trades or three trades then chances are that if one trade goes wrong then the other trades can manage that loss or can even bring you in profits okay so always think logically and act accordingly all right so i hope it was helpful guys and as always a small piece of advice trading is a combination of multiple tiny things and as a trader you need to take care of each and every bit of it you miss one bit and it will not take much time for your entire efforts to get shattered so better be careful and be wise Okay so that's it from my end guys and as always we request you all to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also please do not miss the ending of this video as you will get to know some more details about hyit that might be helpful to you in some way or the other and please feel free to ask your questions or queries if any in the comment section and i will surely reply back to them uh, reply back to them and also please do not forget to like the video if you liked it So that's all from my end and I will see you all later hope you all will stick back happy trading stay back home bye bye